Hey guys, what's up? It's Erica. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a Shein try on haul. My sister and I placed a Shein order a few weeks ago and we just got our clothes. So I'm going to show you guys the stuff that I got um, and I can include the prices, the sizes, and I will link everything. So if you want to get it, you can and I'll tell you like what I think about the quality and the fit. In total, my sister and I got 10 items, and our total only cost $74.26, which I feel like for 10 items is pretty good. That's like an average of like $7, but I just have four pieces that I bought for myself um, that I will be showing you guys. Also, this is a try-on haul. I know people like that, so um, I will show you guys how everything looks on me. I got kind of like basic clothes. I've got three white shirts and one pink shirt. Um, and they're all more like crop summery shirts, but I think they'll just be like, kind of fun shirts to wear for like, dinners and stuff. Um, they all kind of show like a lot of stomach though, so I don't know how much wear I'll get out of them, especially like right now because of coronavirus. I don't really do anything or go anywhere <laughs> that I would wear like a crop top to. So they should go to like work and the grocery store, so I don't know. But whenever I can go out again, um, I think I will wear these clothes a lot. The first piece is this linen tie blouse. It looks kind of wrinkled right now, but I really like the uh, ruffled sleeves, and I just feel like that these types of tops, I pretty much got a lot of very similar to this type, um, but they're just like really trendy and like Brandy Melville style. It'll be really nice to wear when it's hot outside, and it's like simple, but it's also kind of girly and more than just a white shirt. I got this in a size small, and I think it fits pretty true to size. Um, Shein's not really great with like having anything fitted. Obviously, it's kind of all very cheaply made, and it doesn't have like a ton of shape to it. But because of the strings in it, you can give it more shape. This top was nine dollars and seventy cents, which I think might have been the most expensive piece that I actually got. Um, honestly, I don't know if I would have realized it was that much when I ordered it. I don't know if I actually would have ordered it. I don't know if it's really worth $10, but the next piece is this white ribbed top and it has these pearls down the front and I really like it because where it meets, there's no, there's kind of like a gap and there's a few shirts that I see that cost like 200 bucks right now that are out there that kind of have that same detail of a clasp but there's like a space and I just think it's really cute. This top was $8.62 and I would recommend buying it because like I think that it actually for being $8 that it kind of looks kind of expensive just because of like the pearl detail and stuff. Um, and I think I'll get a lot of wear out of it. The only thing is just like figuring out what to wear under since like there's that gap. This shirt is a small and again I think this one is pretty true to size. I mean if you're like a tiny small this is gonna not be fitted on you at all. Um, I would say I'm more like a smaller medium so it's very boxy like I feel like a lot of tops normally will go in a little bit. You could definitely find better fitting clothes than Shein. Shocking another white top that ties. This one is like very simple but this is kind of like Brandy Melville. Um, it's also ribbed cotton. This top was $7.54. Um, I also got it in a size small and it says it's like a US 4. The same comments as with the other shirts. It fits. I would say it's definitely not a small small. It's like a bigger small, if that makes sense. And again, the fit is just, it's kind of just like two pieces of cloth that you tie together in the front. I still think it's cute um, and it'd be too complicated for me to sew. But if you can sew, like, you could make this very easily. Also, when I'm feeling this, I realize like this whatever it's made out of doesn't stretch at all. There's no give to it. The last type I got is actually not white, um, but it is this pink top. I have seen a lot of people wear a very similar top. I don't know the brand, but I think it costs a lot of money. Um, I've seen a lot of influencers on Instagram wearing it. Um, and when I saw it, I just, I don't know if I'm gonna wear it slash where I'm going to wear it but I just wanted it for the opportunity that maybe Coachella or if I'm in like Mexico pair it with like really high-waisted shorts. I don't know because obviously like this is not a top at all. It's more like a bathing suit um, or like a bra. So it's got these like cute ruffly sleeves and it just ties in the front. Um, 
I was kind of like nervous about getting this top just because Shein is great with like simple cut shirts, but this one is like a little bit more complicated. It really replicates the top that I've seen on Instagram and stuff and I bet that it is a fraction of the cost. And especially for a shirt that is not really that wearable, considering it's not really even a shirt, getting something like that off of Shein is a good bang for your buck. This top was actually $8.62. And I ordered it in a small. It fits, but the chest area is a little bit small. You might want to size up depending on that. So those were the four items that I got from Shein. I hope you guys like them. Again, I will leave links to all of the items of clothing that I got if you want to get them. Overall, I'm satisfied with my purchase, but it was kind of like an impulse purchase because my sister and I were like, okay, let's just put it in a Shein order. And the items that I got are not super wearable. But like I said, when I can go outside and do stuff again, I think I will get a good amount of use out of them. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.